Welcome to another edition of On Assignment. This is Dave Erickson here at the 2012 Memorial Hermann Ironman 70.3 Texas here in Galveston, where the weather conditions are less than ideal, but more on that in just a moment. This weekend kicks off an Ironman 70.3 doubleheader with 70.3 California on Saturday and 70.3 Texas here on Sunday. You can check out the impressive pro fields for both races right now on Ironman.com as Sean Skeen previews the race in Oceanside and Kevin McKinnon's preview of the race here in Galveston, both on Ironman.com right now. No doubt the athlete drawing the biggest spotlight will be wearing bib number 5, 40-year-old Lance Armstrong. The cycling legend made his professional return to triathlon in February by racing his first ever Ironman 70.3 race in Panama City, Panama. Clearly a favorite going in, Lance, an accomplished swimmer in his youth, proved he still has the endurance and technique to compete at a very high level, exiting the water under 20 minutes with the second pack. On the bike, it was a, quote, tactical race, as Lance put it, with podium contenders Rasmus Henning, Chris Leto, Bevan Doherty, and a host of others setting the pace. First off the bike, it was Lieto and Armstrong, only seconds apart. Armstrong, right together. There's Bertrand Biard. Hundreds of spectators positioned themselves along the fencing, cheering, snapping photos, and watching with excitement to see which man would exit T2 first. The Texan looked strong, slowly gaining ground on Lieto, who held the lead for the first 5K or so before getting passed by Armstrong. Armstrong would later go on to describe the heat in Panama as an oven. We recorded everything today. I think for me that's important to know, you know what I did in this race in terms of watts, in terms of heart rate, in terms of pace on the run. Got to go back and study that, give me some idea of, of what I got to improve for, uh, for Galveston next. But, uh, you know, the one X factor here is it was very, very hot. So that, that, that takes everything and makes it, uh, makes everything higher. The 40-year-old Armstrong would hold the lead through mile 11 on the run, only to be passed by Bevan Doherty, the Olympic silver medalist from New Zealand. An impressive showing by both athletes. This weekend here in Galveston should be just as exciting, if not more. As far as the forecast on race day Sunday, these clouds and rain will give way to partly cloudy skies and a high of 77 degrees. Now, I will have exclusive pre-race interviews and coverage throughout the weekend here from Galveston, and you can follow that on Facebook and Twitter, keyword Ironman Try. Now, on Saturday, we'll have live text updates and coverage of Ironman 70.3 California on IronmanLive.com. On Sunday, we'll add live streaming video and race day video clips. It should be an exciting weekend, to say the least. Until then, this is Dave Erickson on assignment at the 2012 Memorial Hermann Ironman 70.3 Texas.